A group of Philadelphia elected officials from past and present met today outside of Lincoln Financial Field. They're calling on the city's health department to set up a mass vaccine site at the stadium. Matt Petrillo is in South Philadelphia with more on the plan. Open Lincoln Financial Field. Philadelphia Council Member Alan Dom led a group of city leaders Wednesday outside the link and laid out a proposal to use the stadium as a mass vaccination clinic. Operation Philly Special is the playbook that brings all of the city's assets to bear. Officials say if the mayor approved the plan, the site could administer thousands of doses a day. I texted the mayor last night asking him to actually join us. We want him here. We want to work with him. Being here, he didn't respond. Some city leaders worry a site at the link would attract too many people from outside the state at a time doses remain extremely limited. Former Congressman Bob Brady doesn't buy that. There's such a thing that's called an ID. Brady adds he would advocate on behalf of the city directly with the president. I talk to President Biden all the time. He's my friend. I told you I got a title. My title's friend of Joe. But the Kenny administration also says it's working to prioritize communities of color. A city spokesperson told Eyewitness News in a statement Wednesday, quote, We asked Councilman Dom and other supporters this. Are you deliberately trying to ensure that white privileged suburban residents of other counties and states are prioritized for vaccination over black and brown taxpayers of Philadelphia? Because that is what this plan will do. It's deflection. It's deflection. Former Mayor John Street is among those in support of the vaccine site at the link. We have to do this now, people. If we don't do it now, it'll be too late. So Philadelphia's health commissioner did previously say he would consider using the link as a mass vaccination site sometime in the future if more vaccinations become available. In South Philadelphia, Matt Petrillo, CBS 3 Eyewitness News.